hello students i hope you all are fine and well at your home this is the podcast on why do we fall ill episode 2 and i am kumari swati your biology teacher i would be today explaining you about immunization through this podcast immunization is a global health and development success story saving millions of life every year vaccines reduces risk of getting a disease by working with your body's natural defenses to build protection when you get a vaccine your immune system responds we now have vaccines to prevent more than 20 life threatening diseases helping people of all ages live longer healthier lives immunization currently prevents 2 to 3 million deaths every year from diseases like diphtheria tetanus pertussis influenza and measles immunization is a key component of primary health care and indisputable human rights it is one of the best health investment money and by vaccines are also critical to prevention and control of infectious diseases outbreaks they underpin global health security and will be a vital tool in the battle against antimicrobial resistance yet despite tremendous progress far too many people around the world including nearly 20 million infants each year have sufficient access to vaccines in some countries progress has stalled or even reversed and there is a real risk that complacency will undermine past achievement global vaccination program coverage the portion of world children who revive recommended vaccines has remained the same over the past few years vaccine is a biological preparation that resemble a disease causing microbe vaccination is the process in which vaccine is given to improve the immunity of body against a specific disease vaccination are available for diseases like tetanus diphtheria whooping cough measles polio chickenpox etc the microbe injected into the body through vaccination is a dead or a weak microbe and hence does not affect the body therefore the immune system is able to manage but at the same time the immune system also recognizes the microbe and the way to fight it back when same microbe comes to affect the body next time then the immune system recognizes it and fights back thereby preventing us from getting sick impact of vaccines and immunization program vaccines train your immune system to create antibodies just as it does when it's exposed to a disease however because vaccines contain only killed or weakened forms of germs like viruses or bacteria they do not cause a disease or put you at the risk of complication some other vaccines are currently under development or being piloted including those that protect against ebola or malaria but are not yet widely available globally none of the vaccines may be needed in your country some may be given prior to travel in areas of risk or to the people in a high risk occupation so this is how whole program related to vaccination and immunization works who is working with countries 
and partners to improve global vaccination coverage through the Global Vaccine Action Plan 2011-20. Every year, WHO also works with UNICEF to produce national immunization coverage estimates for member states. In 2020, WHO will work with the member state to develop the Immunization Agenda 2030. I hope now you people have understood the important facts and things related to vaccination and immunization. Thank you and have a nice day.